Mr. Cullum, uh, welcome to Spinning with Tom from Hogflow. Thank you. How excited are you about this challenge ahead? I'm excited beyond belief to be fair. Um, after like my season last year, I um, started off well and like the last six months wasn't like great so to be fair like I'm wanted is like, a good thing so I'm definitely looking forward to it, yeah. And I did a bit of research in the Chronicle mm -hmm. 2016 there was an article published um, and you were one of the players dubbed as the next generation in Newcastle as well as obviously being spoken very highly people like Peter Beardsley. How would you sum up your time in Newcastle overall and what was that experience like? Um, well, I started off, I, was, uh, well, I came in injured and um, it was like tough, I didn't know any of the lads, so um, that was tough. And then like after, I don't know, because I, like, I wasn't really getting much in the 18s and then all of a sudden I just got like a call up to the 21s, just like bypassed everyone at the 18s and then got in there. I just couldn't believe it. And then literally since then, I just never looked back. And then right, you made the bench um, yeah. against West Brom mm -hmm. and you passed a 1-0. How was that experience of all? How was that day? Um, that like the build up during the week, because we had like obviously we had like a few a few injuries as well. So and I was like obviously I was training with them quite like a lot. I had like a feeling that like a few of us were going to be on the bench, and then like the day before, I think I went into dinner and um, Tony said, um, "Have you got like a suit or anything for tomorrow?" And I was like, ah, "I haven't got one." So I had to go and buy a suit, and then the next day, I was on, like on the bench. It was surreal, unreal. Like from like watching them. In the stand of being on like the bench, the noise difference is just a joke. So it was unreal. Yeah, I loved it. It was a bit of a shame not to get on that day. Yeah, I, I, well, tails went down. Stephen Taylor went down because he just came back from inj uh, injuries out for like a while, and he was like struggling a little bit. And I was thinking I might get the nod, but it was quite tight. So I think the gaffer just kept him on to the end. So, but yeah, it was good. And you've had a few loan spells at Gateshead. Uh, mm -hmm. How beneficial have they been to you? Um, very beneficial. Um, like I said, it's like a tough, a very tough league. What like, what like Spain are in as well, and obviously Gates and it's um, it's very tough. And playing against men and playing like actual games where like it matters, like 23s football, it's it's like good for like young lads. But like actually playing in games where like it matters and you have to win, it gets like that's like that's like the proper buzz. That's what you want to be in. That's what you want to be involved in. Um, back to Spain, when did you first get in touch with Jason Hensy? When did you first meet him? Um, and what did he say? What did he say about the club and why he didn't join? Um, he, he actually gave us a call. Um, he got like a number for like a scout, who, Terry Kirkbride, who, who I've known since I was like 10 year old. And he gave us a call and then like, I, I went and met him the next day, him and Tommy. And what they said was, was just everything what I wanted to hear and everything what like, I needed, I think, as well. And they just sold, like, sold the club straight away to us. I thought I want to be part of something like that. And am I right? I think you're originally from Bishop Auckland. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Around the area, it's easy to settle in. Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, like I, I met like the lads a bit there, so and um, they seem good. So I just can't wait to get going now. Yeah. And finally, do you see this is kind of a new chapter in your career? Obviously, you've spent well, all your career with Newcastle United. Do you see mm -hmm. this as a fresh start? Yeah, definitely a fresh start. Um, it's it's something what I've needed. I think for the past few years, I think I've just been like, like stuck in like a rut. I think to be fair, at Newcastle. Um, so getting out playing men's football now and proper football and just en enjoying the football again, I think it's going to be really good.